This is the quickest way to get split testing up on your website and it's super easy. It's extremely quick to get instantaneous feedback. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly A-B test your website and web pages. A-B testing is super important because the difference between one headline versus another headline or one video testimonial versus another video testimonial or one product picture versus another product picture could be a sizable difference in your click-through rates, which would make a sizable difference in your revenue and your income for your business or e-commerce. The problem is, up until now, it's been a little bit complicated to A-B test pages sometimes. You've got to get extra tools, extra plugins, and if you're not a developer, that can really hinder your progress. I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly today using my favorite WordPress theme, Divi. Here's how you do it. So I've created this sample Divi layout using one of their layout packs, and what I've done is I've written a headline. Let's zoom in. I've written a headline right here, take 10% off your first month today. Maybe this is for like a subscription package or something. And then here, I have uh, put a contact form. Submit your name and email and the form to take advantage of your offer. So that's great. 10% off, making an offer, everything's good so far. But what if there's a better headline? Well, I wanna test that and I wanna try and show 50% of the people headline one and 50% of the people headline two and see which performs better. So here's how you do it. First of all, you're gonna hover over this headline and you see these three dots. Let's see if I can get this green thing to disappear. There are three dots right here. You click this and this says split test. Click that, and you have chosen your split testing subject. All right, so now you've gotta pick your goal. Now, when you're picking a goal in Divi, you're not picking a certain element, you're picking a module. So in this case, when I click OK, the module I'm going to select is going to be this contact form. So this is the module I want Divi to monitor in order to measure the success of the A-B test. So I'm going to click this right here. Make sure you've got your blue little circle highlighted and click that. And congratulations, your split test is ready to go. So that's all you have to do. All right, so the split test is running and if you click into these three little bouncing metrics right here, you get a really uh, quick view over what's happening. Now, I just started this so there's not gonna be any statistics here, but you can see clicks, you can see how many people read it, you can see the bounce rate, goal engagement, conversions. I'll show you in a second like an actual real page with this built out. Now, let's see how to actually configure your split test. So you've got one headline, how do you make the next one? We're well, gonna hover back over this original subject and if this thing would get out of the way, that would be great. All right, there we go. You're actually going to click this right arrow button and essentially what that does is duplicates your first headline, then you're gonna try another one. So there's my second split tested headline right there. And if you wanna check it, you can actually zoom out. Let's hit Shift W, and you can see the two different split tests I've got going on right here. So there's headline one, headline two. You can duplicate it again if you wanna try a third headline. And then Divi will do all the hard work and will auto-rotate these, showing it to an equal number of people. So 33% of your website visitors will see this, Headline number one, 33% will see this one, so on and so forth. And it's all measuring how many people click this contact form module, how many people submit the contact form based off of the headline, and then it will show you results. Now let's take a look at an actual results page from a test I've had going for a little while. Okay, so here's the back end of one of my pages, and I am testing out these two headlines against how many people click this button. As you can see, this first headline is converting a little bit better than this second headline. So what I would do in this case is I would get rid of the second one and I would try another one. Now, actually, none of these are converting very well. That's not even 1%, but let's look into the statistics right here. I'm gonna click on all time, and then Divi is actually going to build this out for you. So over the last, I don't know, this has been going on a while, I've had 7,535 impressions, 27 clicks for a click-through rate of 0.36% compared to this one, which has about the same, but only 18 clicks. So in this test, text one would be my new control, and I would come up with two, maybe three more headlines that I can compare this against. You can also look at things like bounces. So these are how many people bounce, and you can check it out over the last 24 hours, seven days, last month, all time. And finally, you can track your goal engagement, uh, let's say over the last month for me. 
So this goal is comparing text one in the yellow to text two in the orange. Again, this is the quickest way to get split testing up on your website and it's super easy. And it's extremely quick to get instantaneous feedback. It's very cool. Divi, great job again. I'm Brandon Styles. Hope that helped. Split test your pages, guys. Like it is going to help so much. It's going to just continue to increase your conversion rates. Sit down, write out 20 headlines, find the best three to five, and then test those out on Divi. Good luck. Please subscribe to this channel if that was helpful.